Mark Allen tweets tomorrow's final here at the Bet Victor Northern Ireland Open with a 6 2 win over Neil Robertson. Let's deal with the end of the match first, if we can. You won on a respotted black in your home country at your home event. It doesn't get much more exciting than that, Yeah, man. the atmosphere of those last few balls was just ridiculous. Uh, yeah, the, it was funny because Neil played a few shots that looked like he was going to leave me a shot and the crowd were going mad and then it would run a little bit more and I had to play safe, so it was like delaying what was coming and it, obviously I got a chance at that long black and yeah, put it lovely, but yeah, the crowd went nuts. It was class, really good. Did you feel like the pressure was sort of off you a little bit? Because you were 5-2 up, um, so you could take on a pot and miss him because yeah. you're in the lead or, or does that not No, not really. Work? I just felt like just deal with the shot that faces you. you know, regardless of the scenario, just if it's the safety is the right shot or whether the pot's the right shot, that's where you play. And I think Neil probably done the same because 5-2, yes, it sounds like I should go on and win, but if he pots that black 5-3 and then reels off a couple of frames in no time, like it's game on and Neil is obviously more than capable of doing that. So, yeah, it felt like I was one ball from victory, but it also felt like... I'm sure he would have felt if he could have got that one ball, he'd have been right on my heels again. So, yeah, just to f close it out 6 2, a bit more comfortably, and you know, get a good night's sleep now for tomorrow. It's all good. He is one of those players who, in the space of 10 minutes, he can turn that lead Absolutely. right around, can he? And you promised us last night some exciting attacking snooker. It's what we expect from the pair of you, and we got it tonight. You did, and I think there was a lot of good safety there as well. I think Neil probably played the better safety. I, I wasn't finding him with thin edges as well as I have been all week, but. Yeah, just battled hard and it was real good stuff. There was a few misses here and there. It was probably uncharacteristic of both of us, but it's a big match, you know, a big occasion. You're not going to play perfect snooker. You have to just deal with the misses and the mistakes as best you can. You've been saying this week that you've been looking forward to the big introduction, the, the reigning and defending Northern Ireland Open champion. You got it tonight and the crowd out there went absolutely yeah. wild, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, that's what I've been waiting on. No, I didn't want my sort of title defence to dwindle out in round two or three and not having that intro with a multi-table set up and... I wanted to get through to that one table, get that intro and then hopefully push on and that's what exactly what I've done so far this week but the intros are great but it'll all be for nothing if I don't go and win tomorrow so I'll be giving it my all and hopefully I can do it for myself and for everyone here. You've mentioned in other interviews you've been working with the Mind Coach. I won't go into it too deeply but what, what's the main difference would you say that that's made? Uh, I don't know, I just feel like just even having someone to talk to and bounce things off and someone who's come from a very successful professional sport background, being there, done that with in, in many different areas. I can trust what he's telling me. Uh, I can feed off the positivity that he's given me. And I think we're chatting to him. He understands, like, I'm a positive person too and I believe in my ability. I think he sees my ability and knows what I'm capable of and I think he wants to help me get better and help me achieve goals that I haven't quite achieved yet. Well, you're certainly achieving them at the moment. It's Joe Long in the final tomorrow. It's going to be a very different challenge to Neil today or, or John Higgins in last year's final. He's playing very well, though, this week. Like he's a class player. I, I always thought he was sort of the best of the Chinese outside of Ding for years. Never really pushed on, and obviously, like, Bing Tai and Zing Tong have really pushed on, won tournaments and got themselves up the rankings. But Joe's always been classy. Uh, something about him. Hits the ball really well, scores heavy. Just a tough, tough opponent, but I just have to play my game. I can't think too much about him. He hasn't won a tournament yet, and I, it'd be nice if I can keep him on zero for as long as possible. And Because you don't want you know, these these guys, especially with him being so young, he's only 24, I think. He gets one or two with ranking tournament, tournaments under his belt. He could really push on and win multiple. Uh, it's up to me to try and stop it. Certainly is. Now, the last time you lost in a ranking event final and went on to reach the next ranking event final was in 2018, when you lost the UK's to Ronnie, you went up to Scotland and you clinched a home nation's title. Is that an omen for tomorrow? Look, who knows? I don't, I don't really pay too much attention to stuff like that. Uh, I just know that I've battled hard this week. I've given up my all. I've played some good stuff at times, and I've battled hard when I haven't had my best stuff. So, yeah, all that other stuff means nothing. I just want to go out there and enjoy tomorrow uh, and see where that leaves me. Uh, I'll look back at the end of my career and see where I've went, you know, in the back of losses and the back of wins and sort of work out patterns and things like that but whenever I'm in the middle of things I don't think of anything like that I just want to go out there and play well and finally tomorrow it's going to be a full house here at the Waterfront Hall in Belfast it's going to be a very partisan crowd if you could say if we give one message to your fans that are coming tomorrow what would you say to them Mark? Yeah I want them to be boisterous I want them to be obviously supportive like they always are but I want them to be fair if, if Joe plays well put some good balls make good, good breaks I want them to you know, really show him the appreciation because it's a ranking final both players deserve to be there played some good stuff to be there and uh, I want them just to be respectful to both players, but cheer me on as much as possible.